Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the NCAA Retro Bowl Mania. And we're hanging out here in the Ivy League with your Harvard Crimson. And they're taking on the Holy Cross Crusaders today. And this ought to be a great matchup, so let's quit the yapping and talking. And let's get straight to the action. And Holy Cross kicks off first, and Harvard's got the ball. And they've got it at the 20-yard line here with Sergio Long's going to take over. That's a first down. Oh, good catch right there. And Lonnie Ponder, the uh, receiver, first down, 12 yards. Good play. There's a pass. Oh, nice move by Goff. Faked like he was going out of bounds, but then he uh, brought it back inside, 17 yards. What a play. Oh, good defense right there as the play was broken up, and it's a second and ten. Oh, Julio Tre Oh! And Julio Treader, the running back, puts it on a carpet after a pretty good run right there of around six, seven yards. And Holy Cross takes over at midfield. And they score a touchdown right there, and it's seven and nothing. As the Crusaders are up. Wow. And first and 10. Carson Reeder is wide open and 12 yards. Well, Harvard's reeling already off of that first uh, turnover. There's a pass to Goff. Oh, and Goff breaks the tackle. Goes 24 yards there. And it's a first down, and they're already over in Holy Cross territory. And Ponder, once again, 16 more yards. And they're in a the red zone, and they've uh, struck back pretty quickly. There's a catch. Oh, and Goff almost got sandwiched right there, and it's a first and goal. And you know what time it is, Julio Treader time. Hopefully he doesn't fumble it, and he didn't, and he gets in the end zone. And it's a 7-6 uh, to six game. Looks like it's going to be a two-point conversion. And Long is going to take it himself. But can he get in? And yes, he does. He trips over the uh, goal line. 47 seconds left to go. Holy Cross has got the ball. And they're on a move. And they score again with no time left in the first quarter. They go for a two-point conversion, and at the end of the first quarter, it's 15-8, and the Crusaders are up. Harvard's got the ball, and this time, pretty good uh, return. 37-yard line. Oh, nice pass. Gets out of bounds, 11 yards there. It's a first down handoff. Oh, and only two yards there for Treader. And brings up, let's see, a second and eight. See a Treader. He's got it again. And Treader, oh, almost gets the first down. Seven yards there. He averages eight yards a carry. So whenever they do run, they have positive yards. As a, a tight end, Carson Reeder goes for about 20 right there. There's a pass. Goff. Oh, and Goff gets blasted and laid on his back. But you know what? It's a first and ten. They could uh, get a first down without scoring a touchdown. Oh, and Long held on to it for too long, so he just got rid of it. Here we do. We've got a second and ten. He calls an audible. It's a pass. Oh, it's incomplete. Wow, and this is going to bring up right here. This is critical third and ten. And it's a catch. Oh, but he goes out of bounds right there. And it's a fourth down play. They're going to have to go for it this time. Let's see. And there's a pass, and it's a touchdown to Kalen Goff as everybody held their breath right there. Looked like the defender was in pretty good shape, but got caught in his heels. Two-point conversion right here. Let's see. Uh-oh. And Sergio gets in, had to dive for his life there. 
and we're getting ready to give you our trivial information for uh, Ivy League and Harvard so far. Wanted to put the spotlight on Chris, Dr. Chris Nowinski, who played for Harvard and was also a WWE wrestler. He was instrumental in breaking the uh, CTE scandal uh, in and or out, and actually uh, having uh, a lot of personnel being studied, their brain studied. So definitely Chris Davinsky is somebody definitely that is instrumental in getting this uh, major issue at least brought to the spotlight. Well, right now we've got about 33 seconds left to go here and Harvard just went over the 50-yard uh, line and they're in their two-minute drill. They may have to go for a field goal. And there it is. Oh, let's see if he gets out of bounds. And he does. 15 yards, 20 seconds left. 25-yard line. There's a pass. Oh, 13 seconds left, and they're inside the red zone. they got time for probably about two more plays. Let's see what's going to happen here. There's a pass. Oh, and it's caught. Six seconds left at the six-yard line. Let's see what they're going to try to do on this one. I think they're going to go for it because they're down by a touchdown. Let's see. And Reader is wide open. And Carson Reader gets a touchdown, as we see right there, as the safety decides to go down and double team. Uh, it looked like Kalen Goff, but that was the wrong play right there. Let's see. Oh, and Long ends up diving right there and gets in, and Harvard is up by a point at halftime, 24-23 to over the Crusaders. But the Crusaders, uh, Holy Cross is getting the ball coming out of the uh, third quarter. And they've scored again. they scored on every single possession. And they're up 31-24. to Not feeling good vibes here, but it looks like this year might end up coming up to a last second. Last second uh, drive. And this has happened to some of their previous drives, so, or uh, games rather. And that was a drop right there. So now it's a second and ten. Had two games. Oh, two games where they won the last second field goal. Right now, it's going to bring up a third and four. And there's a pass right there. Oh, to Julio Treader. And it's a first down. Their pass midfield. And they might pick it up. Decide to hurry up offense here to keep Holy Cross on their, uh, on their heels. Here it is again. Oh, and a nine-yard pass to Lonnie Ponder. And they're still on the move. Oh, what a defensive play. Almost picked off right there. Third and inches. Oh, and Treader goes for six yards. Haven't used him that much, but right there he is pretty effective. And it's a first and ten. It's a pass. Oh, and Ponder goes for eight yards. All right, we're bringing up a second and two. It's a pass to the receiver right there. Oh, and he breaks the tackle and gets in. Caitlin Goff, let's see the replay. 11-yard pass there from Sergio Long. And Harvard's down once again by a point. But now they're up a point. <laughs> As they're up 32 to 31, high scoring game. Holy Cross has got it again. They score another touchdown. And they're up 39 to 32. Have almost put up a 40 spot on Harvard. Harvard, if they're going to win this game, has got to make a stop at some point. Let's see down. Oh! And there was a sack there as long held on to it too long. Had. A receiver open. 
Oh, 16 yards here. But they get it all back as Ponder gets in and scores a touchdown. Or uh, the first down, excuse me. And Reader, oh! And Carson Reader! He's got it to 20. Oh, another 47 yards right there. All the way down. We're not going to take a look at the replay, but what a great play right there. 47 yards there inside the red zone. Here's a pass. Oh, and Goff is still in bounce right there. Let's see. It's a second in inches. And there it is, a touchdown in the corner. What a great pass there to Goff. Precision. And let's see, Harvard's gone, or they're down by a point. See if they're going to go right here. They're going for the two points. Oh, let's see what they're going to do here. Hopefully, they get this two-point conversion, or else it's all she wrote. And there it is to Caleb Reeder. The tight end, and they're up 40-39. to 39. Holy Cross has got the ball. And they score a field goal. And Holy Cross is up. 42 to 40 with a minute four left to go. And Harvard's going to have to do their uh, two minute drill. And there's a pass to Reeder. And he gets uh, down right there almost at the 50 yard line. And they're used to their uh, two minute offense here. And as they're moving there, another nine, quick nine yards. And let's see a pass here. What a pass down the sidelines to Ponder. And they're already almost within striking distance. 39 seconds left to go. And there's a pass over the middle. And with uh, 29 seconds left to go, they're in the red zone. Let's see what they're going to do right here. It's a pass. And I think that's a touchdown. There it is, 21 seconds left. And let's see, as a replay, down and in, cuts through the middle. And let's see this one more time, as it looks like you're running back. Aids with the block, and they're going for, let's see, the two-point conversion right here to make it. I don't know if it's actually going to matter a bit. It's going to make it a uh, six-point game. And no, they're not going to get it right there. As everybody knew, that's what was happening. 18 seconds left to go. Hail Mary, and that's it. And your Harvard Crimson pull it out once again. Last drive. This one, 20 seconds left to go. And Harvard wins 46-42 over your Holy Cross Crusaders. Let's take a look once again at the stats. And Sergio Long, best uh, game of his uh, brief career. And uh, Carson Reeder, great game today. Let's see if he had a, a 100 yards. And yes, he did, 108 yards. Good game. We're going to level up, or let's see, at least Sergio. There we go. We got uh, Carson Reeder, level him up. Strength, showed a lot of strength in that last uh, catch. And Brashad Kennedy, let's see, a defensive back, We're going to strengthen him up. Let's take a look here at the stats. And Sergio Long goes 36 of 41 for 422 yards. Pretty good game right there. Five touchdowns. Like we stated, best game of his uh, career. Julio Treader, only four rushes for 19 yards, but he did end up with a touchdown, but he did have that big fumble. And there he is, Carson Reeder, the tight end, six for 108. Probably the um, play of the game earlier. Kalen Goff, 13 catch for 144. Lonnie Ponder, 12 for 140, 141, excuse me. Pretty good game there. 
Luke, not a good game. Kennedy, nine tackles, pretty decent. And that's it. So, folks, the Crimson, they're on a roll. And it is definitely just too close for comfort as this is their third game that they've won within the last 30 seconds. But you know what? That's what uh, Retro Bowl Mania is all about, bringing you great games and great competition. So on that note, we're going to see you next time with uh, possibly another Ivy League opponent as they went out of conference uh, for this week. But anyways, we've said enough. So go Crimson, beat Yale. You know that's what it is every time. All right. Peace.